So what I've learned is that the barriers that the clients and the patients put up is oftentimes coming from a place of little or no experience in the program or with the program. And you know, it's kind of hard when you're trying to make that referral or suggest to someone that they go to cut through those misconceptions and myths that they've either heard from someone or believe themselves. So this is the, probably the biggest one that you'll hear. If you haven't already heard it, you'll hear it many times over as a barrier that people get stuck on this. <laughs> yes, the God word. <laughs> it's a big deal for a lot of people. And, you know, I have to be honest and say that it was initially a, a bit of a stumbling block for myself when I first came in. And, you know, the program, all the 12-step programs go to great length to try and help people work through and get past this particular barrier. So, first and foremost, what I like to tell folks is AA is not a religion or is it any of the other 12-step programs. It's a spiritual program, it's not a religious one. And initially, with my own barrier to this particular word, I had a sponsor who used to go to meetings with me in the very beginning of my time in the program, and I would complain to him about the fact that the God word was everywhere. It was on the wall, on the 12 steps, it was in the literature, seemingly on every page. And he pointed out to me something that I had completely missed early on, and that is that in steps 3 and 11 on the 12 steps, it says God as we understood him. And it's underlined. And I had completely missed it. I sat in those meetings, focusing on the God word, missed the fact that it said as we understood him, underlined. I don't know how I missed it, but I did. And so one of the other things that we like to do in recovery circles is we're great on acronyms. 